what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys. So I thank you so, so very much. And yes, the A-Town is getting a little bit of a sprinkling today, but we are here to bring the sunshine after the rain as I am so beyond the moon excited to talk with today award-winning filmmaker, the wonderful Deb Riley Draper. Hello, Miss Deb. How are you? I am fantastic. How are you? It's exciting to talk to you. I love that energy you bring. Thank you. Yes, well, I love the energy that you are bringing with this 20 Pearls Project. This documentary, it actually drops tomorrow. So, March the 26th. It does. I'm excited about it. Yes, this is the story of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. You know, this organization has just so many groundbreaking um just patches in history and I am absolutely excited that that this project is coming to be and more and more people are going to get to hear about these lovely lovely ladies <laughs> aka yeah so with so many documentaries that have been throughout the years um Ms. Deb, with everything with the alpha kappa alpha women why did you decide to explore it in this fashion well you know uh the international president and CEO, Dr. Glenda Glover, had a vision to capture the story of the nine black women who made one decision that literally changed American history mm. uh, when they founded Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And she wanted that in film so it could be distributed far and wide. And uh, I was very fortunate that uh, she reached out to me and asked me what I write and direct it. And I'm like, I love everything about my sorority, and I would be honored to. But it also fits within the type of work that my production company, Coffee Bluff Pictures, actually, we do feature films and we do documentaries. Mm. But when we do documentaries, we have historically looked at, you know, dismissed or marginalized stories or stories of heroes that have changed America, but people may not know their names Mm. or they may not know the organization or they may not have reached the mainstream conversation, right? Right. So this is a story of 113 years of black women impacting history, but also 113 years of sisterhood. And that's, that's how I approached it. The story tracks along with our trajectory, you know, in America as we first entered college in the early 1900s. Uh, Many, many, yeah, right, you know, (laughs) so few people realize that in 1908, you had nine black women Mm. at Howard. That means black women were in college. (laughs) And and they were pursuing their education, and they were trying to find a place in this society for themselves. And they bound together in sisterhood to create something that would impact not only them, but, but black women all around. Yes. Now, if you had to estimate from start as far as getting the project and actually starting to build, um, I'd imagine, some kind of storyboard or um, a timeline in, in which you're going to actually finish the project. How long did it did the project take from start to finish? From, from start to finish? uh 15 months. Wow. That's a lot. Fast. That yeah, it was, it, it, it was wonderful, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and, it, and I have to it was enjoyable. I, I, I love archives. And so we, we did this film during the pandemic. So many of the archives mm. were closed. And we had to develop deeper relationships with the libraries. And, and can you digitize this and send <laughs> it to us? So it was, you know, it was a, a very different process um, researching during a pandemic. But I, I ran across the most beautiful vintage photos, not just from Alpha Kappa Alpha, but from the entirety of the Divine Nine. Mm. So it was lovely to see these photographs from the early 1900s, 1910, 1920, and see these college-educated African-Americans 
really charting new courses in America, socially, politically, economically, and certainly um, from the intellectual perspective. And it was really inspiring to me. And I was like, man, I'm not doing enough. Look what they were doing in 1908. Jeez. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to work a little bit harder. <laughs> Absolutely. And with so many just notable AKAs, um, you have the CEO of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Dr. Glenda Glover. She's included in it. Um, let's see. Anna Eleanor Roosevelt Fierce. That's the great granddaughter of honorary member First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. That is prolific. That is awesome. Uh, one of my favorite AT aliens and, and AKAs, Miss Rashawn Ali. She's also a part of it. <laughs> So. Yes, I love Rashawn. Yes. She brings such energy <laughs> and fire and her love for the sorority. Yes. Her, her mom actually was a founder of a graduate chapter in Decatur. Yeah. So you know, the, the, just wonderful. Love Rashawn. Oh, my goodness. Love her to pieces. But to get Felicia Rashad to narrate... What was, I, I mean, I mean, that just, when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be even better than I thought that it was going to be. Um, what was, I, what was that I, process I'm like a, to get her involved? Well, you know, it was so simple in terms of reaching out to her and sharing the vision of this story of, mm. of how we wanted to tell the story and how we wanted to make this a love letter, not just to our sorority, but a love letter to black women and also a reckoning yes. about the roles we have played in this country yes. and, and, and the and the strides that we've made that are not discussed and recognized and mm-hmm. elevated. And so she said, yeah. and so when I tell you it was so nice to be in the studio via Zoom with the one and only <laughs> award-winning multi-hyphenate Felicia Rashad, yes. writer, director, producer, and actress. Felicia Rashad, please. Yes. It was, it was like, wow. You're like, oh my goodness, it's Mrs. Hextable. Oh my goodness. You know, it was, it was that moment and it was a moment of, we have a shared lived experience. Mm. We both have been initiated into black sororities and we both are in the same sorority and, um, and you know, and she was initiated at Howard University in the Alpha yeah, chapter. That's, that's, so you know, it was, it was things to talk about and commonalities and shared experiences, and and you know, she she, she was engaged and she gave me feedback and mm-hmm. input, and I'm like, did I just get a note from Felicia Rashad? <laughs> Please, <laughs> you know, because she's a director, so she give me a note. I'm right. like, I'll take it. Right, absolutely, and give me a note. Please. Okay, please. I'll take several notes. I'll take all of the notes. I'll take several notes. <laughs> you know. oh. And so that, that's what experience was like. And, you know, because of the pandemic, she was in the studio alone. And, I, I you know, I was via Zoom. But, you know, it was a great connection there. And um, and that, that was like, I was like, oh, the pandemic, I can't be in the booth. Oh. Uh, Felicia, <laughs> but, oh. um, you know, her performance is impeccable, of course. Oh, of course. Her ability to use her voice as mm. an instrument to tie a story together and move a story forward is spotless and immaculate. So it was a coup for me as a director and a writer. And to hear her read my words, mm. they made mm. an impact. Wow. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. So last but certainly not least, what do you want an audience to walk away with after watching this documentary, this project, this, this affection of love? What do you want them to walk away Uh, with? I want them to walk away with, you know, during the past eight months, there's been a lot of focus and attention on Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Mm -hmm. and the Divine Nine. What's the Divine Nine? What's Mm -hmm. an AKA? What's Mm -hmm. the Ski We? You know, all sorts of questions Mm -hmm. because of our Madam Vice President. And so I I want people to learn, understand, and respect the past 113 years of Alpha Kappa Alpha and, and what the founding of that sorority 
has created within the culture of America and what has been the impact and ripple effect of the sorority's existence during Mm -hmm. that time, as well as the combination of the entirety of the divine nine. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when they stand up together, when we're all together, like we were this summer. Yes. Rally around registering people to vote Mm -hmm. and getting out to vote, the strolling to the polls, that fire, that energy, Mm. that wasn't the first. It's Mm -hmm. always been that. That's right. (laughs) It's been (laughs) since the Divine Nine first got together during the Great Depression and decided that they needed to work together and come together. So I wanted people to see black women working together and black people working together and impacting change across a variety of industries and and tackling a variety of problems. Not always winning. Not not always, you know, creating the change that we want, but being in there in the fight for equality justice and 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 trying our very best to set the best goals and examples for ourselves and Mm. and and that's it absolutely that's what i I want people to see us you're you're zeta by the way um we have the most amazing vintage photo of zeta phi beta in the in the yes yes we do um yeah, it's, we, we have, you know, uh, we have a wonderful vintage photo of each of the black sororities, obviously Alpha Kappa Alpha, but each of the others. And it's absolutely a stunning photograph. Oh, I can't um, wait to see it. One of your sorors in the national office pointed us in the direction of where the photo, which, which archive the photo was in, so we were able to um, retrieve it. It's gorgeous, because you know how, like in the 40s, they really, they came, everybody came clean, Correct. right? To Correct. <laughs> God, like, I see you, <laughs> and you, oh, it's just, it's just a beautiful photo, and it just awesome. reminds us of you know, what all of these women, all the black women and all the black Greek letter organizations, when they came to campus, they showed up. They showed up. I'm like, mm-hmm. They showed up. And and they took everything very seriously in terms of how they represented it. And I just love the spirit yeah. of these archival photos. They teach us a lot. Yes, they do. You know, when you just stop and look at that photograph and you think about what's happening around them, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they're operating at fever in at times when lynching was at its fever pitch. Yeah. This is, you know, before the civil rights movement. Mm-hmm. This is before World War Two, in some cases. And they were in college, operating, functioning, raising money, baking cookies, having bake sales, trying to create scholarships, trying to do community service, while at the same time not even being able to vote, yeah. sit in the front of a bus, mm. or check into a hotel. Mm. Mm. That's what I want people to know and understand and respect. Absolutely. And I'm just looking forward to seeing it just to see just the unity. I think that sometimes there is a narrative that black women can't get along. We don't get along. We don't unite. We don't work together. No. And that is so untrue. And it's such a false narrative. I don't know how it got started, but I'm glad that people like yourself in in your art form. Yeah. You will see that in this documentary, you will see the strolls, the poles, so you will see the pink and the green, the yes. red and the white. Yes. You will see the, the <laughs> blue and gold and blue and white, okay? You, it, it's, it's, it's the four, you know that video, and, and, and oh, I yeah. licensed that video mm-hmm. for a reason, mm-hmm. because I wanted people to see the four sororities of the Divine Nine right. stroll to the pole together. Together, right. yes. <laughs> to give it together. together. <laughs> yes. Yes. Miss Deb <laughs> Riley Draper, thank you yes. so much. Thank you thank so you. very much for blessing us today with your presence. Your energy just is full of the creativity and the love and the unity that you'll be able to bring just through your work. I, I applaud you, my sister. Thank you so very much for all that you do. 
I appreciate it beyond words. <laughs> the project again, that is 20 Pearls, the story of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. It's going to be available tomorrow, March the 26th on the Black Experience on Xfinity. It goes nationwide, yes. I believe, March 30th. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Wow. What an incredible, incredible interview. I appreciate you guys so very much for supporting the movement, which is ashsetit.com, ashsetit.com. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. (laughs) So much better. I'll talk to you guys later.